Yes, will be nothing. God will not hear our prayers. A certain condition says, when there is no forgiveness, there is no salvation. salvation. Are you agree with this quotation? We want, all of us want to be in heaven. All of us want to be in heaven someday, together with the millions of angels. But the condition says that when there is no forgiveness, I am sure there is no salvation. Do we need to give to forgive others? Yes. It is our duty as Christians to forgive others. The third reason why forgiveness is necessary because we broke our relationship with our fellow men as we broke our relationship from God. In other words, not only our relationship with God was broken, but also our relationship with other people, with our fellow men. And that's why we need, you know, sin broke relationship. And that's why we need to ask forgiveness. We need to ask the blood of Jesus to forgive us. It is because of sin, there is an existence of sin between us and God. And the only way to blot out the sin is by forgiveness. If we want to have peace in mind, if we want to, if we want that our hearts will be eased with guilt every day in our lives, we need to settle our problems with our brothers and sisters. First John 4.20, it says, if a man say, I love God, if we say, I love God, and hated his brother, he is a liar. a liar. That's very clear. If we say, I love God, I want to be in heaven, but we still hate our brother, according to the Bible, we are a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? If we hate our brothers that we saw it every day, if we hate our brothers that we sleep beside every night, how much more our Heavenly Father? That we didn't see God. We never seen Him. Then, can we maintain our spiritual connection with God every day? The Bible is telling us that if a man say, I love God, but hate his brother, he is a liar. Whether we like it or not, all of us are subject to this text. We are reminded today as Christians that there are so many things in our lives that sometimes we always keep in our hearts that nobody knows. We go to one darling sin that sometimes it's hard for us to, to take away because we love to do the things. But God said, we need to confess our sin. Why we need forgiveness? Because we broke our relationship with our fellow men. The same thing, we also broke our relationship with our Heavenly Father in heaven. Brethren, we think of vertical and horizontal relationship according to our lesson this morning. We will not only think vertically, but we also think horizontally. And that is the cross that Christ has. That is the cross. Have you remembered the rich young ruler? Yes. The rich young ruler asked one evening, and the rich young ruler said, 
because the rich young ruler, ruler think that he was upright in the presence of God. And maybe sometimes we, we think of ourselves that we are upright in the presence of God. Because we keep the Ten Commandments, we go to the church every Sabbath, we read our Bible, we do missionary work, and etc. And we think that we are upright in the sight of God. The same with the rich young ruler. And that's why one night he said, Master, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Have you tried to question that to Jesus? What must I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? What did Jesus answer? Jesus said, keep the commandments. Because Jesus knew the, the attitude, the, the, the life of this man. And the rich young ruler said, I've been keeping that since I was young. In other words, in other words, he was a Christian, right? He was a seventy Adventist Christian because he kept the Ten Commandments since he was young. And he said, Where of those? Where of those Ten Commandments that I, I need to keep? And Jesus said, Thou shalt not kill, and he said, I didn't kill because I love God. Thou shalt not steal, I didn't steal because I love God. Thou shalt not lie, much more, Lord, I didn't lie because I love God. I've been keeping that since I was young. He always kept that word, I've been keeping this since I was young. Maybe some of us, some of us, some uh, of us will, uh, maybe sometimes that some, somebody will ask us, are you a Christian? And we say, yes, I'm a Christian. The young ruler said, I was keeping this since I was young. What luck I? What love I? Are you not asking this kind of question in our time today? What love I? I keep the commandments, I go to church every Saturday, I pray to God three times a day or maybe seven times a day. I read the Bible three times a day. What love I? Do we have the same question with the rich young ruler in our time today? Then God said, "Go and sell what you have, what you have, and give it to the poor. What is lacking to you is to the rich young Lord ruler was relationship with among the brethren. Brothers and sisters, I would like to ask you: How do we save the word of God for others? If we say that I keep the Ten Commandments since I was young, then how do we sell to others? Do we have the strategy of selling the Word of God to other people? The rich young ruler, ruler knows the Ten Commandments. But the problem, he keep it inside his heart, but he cannot share it to others. He don't care, he doesn't care what happened to them. As long as that I keep, as long as that I, my relationship with God is good every day. And I would like to say that that righteousness is a parasitical righteousness. God said, if your faith surpass to the faith of the, Alina, to the faith of the, Pharisees and the Levites, then you will be saved. That is the word of God. If our faith surpasses the faith of the Levites and the Pharisees, we will be saved. Who are they? Who are these people? They are the workers of God. They are working inside the church. But why did God say that if your faith surpassed to, the, to their faith, then you will be saved? 
What are their attitudes that they did every day? I would like to move up to our text today. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Are you with me today? Yes. Is it clear? What happened if we cannot forgive? In verse 15, But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither or neither will your Father forgive your trespasses too. In other words, God urges us. In other words, God encourages us to exercise forgiveness. As Christians, sometimes we are overwhelming with our pride and anger that sometimes it's hard for us to give, to forgive others because of that pride, because of that attitude that always, you know, covered, coated our hearts that instead to humble ourselves, we can able to humble because of pride and anger. And so God <coughs> encourages us today, if we want to be in heaven someday, if we want to be in that heavenly mansion, that according to the book of Revelation, that no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, Every day in our life we live together with happiness, with God. Then we need to exercise forgiveness as human beings as we are. Sometimes if our ego has been passed, sometimes it's hard to prove up. It's hard to, to give our forgiveness. It's hard to humble ourselves because of our pride. But whether we like it or not, brothers and sisters, if we give our life fully to God, the Lord said, for men, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. are possible. If we believe that God, if we believe that we are sinners, then we need Christ, our Savior. Then we will look at how God forgiveness for us. How 